say something super techy and geeky and only nerds would understand. We're utilizing real-time shader manipulation and NDI streaming to create an immersive visual experience. By dynamically adjusting frame rates and leveraging GPU acceleration, we're optimizing performance for seamless transitions. Can you say something really cool about me and convince my YouTube audiences that, hey, this guy is super cool and super awesome? Sure. Zunaid Sabir Ahmed is a visionary VJ who's taking the world of live visuals by storm. His innovative use of technology and creative flair make every project stand out. If you're looking for mind-blowing visuals and unique video experiences, Zunaid is your go-to artist. His work pushes the boundaries and redefines what's possible in visual art. Keep an eye on his channel. You won't want to miss what he comes up with next. Oh my God, you write very good marketing script. I'm done with you for now. So to start, we cast our screen using NDAHX. So we start broadcast. So this is being broadcasted as an NDA source. Then we go to ChatGPT. For the first part of the video, I have used ChatGPT. So I am calling ChatGPT here. So hi ChatGPT, are you listening to me? So I have an audio cable, this one connected to my sound card and my sound card is connected to my laptop. So let's go to Resolume and in Resolume, I have just four layers. Let me just turn off all the layers. So this is my NDI feed. So this clip is used as a mask on top of this video. And there's also a one another video. So when they're all fired together, First thing happens is we have some video with stroke and then we have the same video, this one. So we have ChatGPT here talking as 50 at mask, making this mask. Okay, so we have another scene, which is, let me just show the preview. So this one is also running in the background. So that's how we make the whole scene. For the next one, let me turn off everything. So we have this video and we have the NDI feed, which is kind of jumpy. This one, uh, this is the chat GPT speaking right now. And this one is the audio spectrum we have. Uh, whenever chat GPT is talking, we were supposed to get some audio here and also we have a background so whenever we have something totally running like this we have some masking going on for the next one for this one we don't need the screencast because we're just gonna use the audio so I have this app called Pi this is free let me call Pi okay before I even call this chatbot let me tell you that this one is actually very advanced the voice engine is very nice. You can also interrupt it very easily. So I like this one and this one has a lot of knowledge base connected so far as I have heard and reviewed. So let's connect to this one. Hi Pi, can you hear me? Sure thing. So I have a video here. Here we have the top layer, the speaking layer, which is animated which is actually not animated. The movie is playing, so we can just pause this. So the opacity for this one is audio reactive. Whenever it's getting an audio, it's getting on. So whenever we have that bot speaking, so in this simple method, you can trigger between a static frame and a video clip using audio triggers. As in right now, she is not talking at all, at all, at all. So the moment I call her, Pi, how are you, Pi? Hi, bye, Z. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Take care. Will you be honest with me? Is your voice model trained based on Miley Cyrus? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm programmed to be honest and open with you, but I honestly don't know the specifics of my voice models training. I'm just a chatty AI here to help entertain and keep things interesting. I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. Today is August 29th, 2024. Whatever we saw today, it's very intriguing and very techy for today. But this is going to be very funny pretty soon. This is going to be obsolete. So I really hope the ideas, whatever we try to put, uh, opens up some step to your plan so that you could incorporate any available strong tool out there ahead of time. Let's say the way we did was we just integrated the voice engine of ChatGPT and Pi. So we have done nothing other than getting the audio signals and triggering our visuals. It might be just one step. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to keep making such experimental setups and explain it to you guys. Hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed. I know you are super good. But if you want to be awesome, check out this video next. See you next time.